May is National Fitness Month, so get your body moving and aim for 30 minutes of physical activity each day. Our topic this week, dynamic stretching. Let's do this. I'm Danny Lebovitz, a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and fitness enthusiast who loves to eat. Welcome to Danny's Delicious Dish, where we get serious about food, fitness, and living better. Food brings people together, it nourishes our bodies, and influences how we learn, grow, and heal. We're going to take you from the classroom, to the gym, to the market, to the kitchen. Stretching increases blood flow, decreases your risk for injury, and prepares your body for physical activity. Today I'm here with Mr. Scott Peavy, the fitness program coordinator and NASM performance enhancement specialist to teach us some stretches. Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to take you through some dynamic stretches uh, that will help increase, like Danny said, range of motion and some other things. It will also help you start moving better and make your overall workout routines that much more effective. First movement that we're going to be doing today is the inverted hammy. All right, there's two different versions to this. There's a modified and a single leg version. Danny's going to be doing the modified. I'll be doing the single leg. Uh, with this particular movement, really focus on the technique that I'll be talking about, the verbal cues, make sure that you're in the right positions to get the most from the movement. All right, Danny, if you will, I want you to take a posture of a split step stance. With this movement, she's going to try and keep both heels in contact with the ground. Both toes are facing forward. Hips are lined up with the toes so that everything is tracking in a forward motion. She's going to keep the shoulder blades down and back. Hands are going to rest forward and slide down to the front of her front toe, just like so. Then she'll switch out and continue doing the motion. If the stretch is a little bit too aggressive for you, if your hamstrings aren't very flexible, you can slightly flex the front leg to take some of that load out of it, but still a very good stretch for the hamstring and the hips and the low back. While she's doing that, I'm going to do the single leg version of it. This is a little bit more involved, so make sure that you have pretty decent balance before you get into this, this movement. And uh, you may even want to have something like a chair or a wall or a guardrail around you to, uh, to do the movement so that you have a little bit of a, a safety factor in place. You're going to, again, line that front foot up. This back foot is going to release from the ground. I'm actually going to elevate it. I'm going to drop my chest towards the ground. At the same time, I'm pushing my heel up. I'm flexing my toe back towards the ground and I'm squaring my hips up with the ground. If you want to go to the more advanced version, the hands can be spread wide. You can relax the hands if you don't feel confident in your balance. While you're in this position, you'll slowly come back up, switch feet, and go into the other one. As I'm going down, I push my head away, my heel away, and keep a nice long straight line from the head to the heel. The next exercise that we're going to cover is the lunge to end step. Uh, in the professional world, this is the one exercise that we call the best overall. If you only have time to do one thing, this would be it. It's going to target the hips, the glutes, the low spine, the calves, the hamstrings, pretty much all of the lower body. And also, too, with the one that Danny will be doing, it'll focus on the chest and lower and upper back. All right, Danny, what I want you to do on this one is you're gonna take a really generous stride into a lunge position. Most times you would actually bend that back leg, but on this one, I want her to keep her back leg as straight as possible. She's going to then take her chest and drop down towards that knee in front, and then she's gonna reach back. At this point, she's opening up that hip and glute on the other side, and while she's doing this, as she comes back up and alternates into the next one, really focus on pushing the hips into the ground as far as you can while you do your reach. The other version that I'm about to show you is the press motion. And I'm gonna go down, maintaining that same posture that she does. When I go down with that hand for three points of contact, I'm gonna take this loose hand that she would typically reach with, and I'm actually going to push it down to the instep of my front leg. And then as I come up, I come up, release the toe to hit the hamstring a little bit more, step back up, alternate, find those three points of contact once again, Push that elbow down, pick up that toe to stretch that hamstring, and continue alternating the movement. The next movement that we're going to do is a ground-based movement. These are called side-lying arm circles. Uh, this is going to target the chest, the shoulders, the upper back, as well as the lower back and hips. Um, what I want Danny to do is I want her to go ahead and lay down flat on her back and turn onto her side. You want to make sure that the hips are stacked one on top of the other as well as the shoulders. So you're basically laying on your side and what I'm going to have her do is bring that top leg forward. Now in this position you want to try and keep that knee in contact with the ground as best you can. If you need to take the bottom 
arm and put it on top of that leg to keep it there, that's fine. And then what she's gonna do is she's gonna do basically a circular motion where she reaches overhead, comes around, tries to depress the shoulder, the shoulder blade while relaxing the head, and then she's gonna come back around to her start position. Once you figure out that that hand, or that, excuse me, that knee will stay in contact with the ground, you can release it and bring it back out to the front. And when you're doing this, you should feel a nice stretch through the chest and shoulders, all the while the low back and hips are stretching passively. All right, folks, the last exercise that we're gonna do is called a scorpion. This one, again, is gonna be tar targeting some of the similar areas that we've been working on. And the reason I focus on the hips, the low back, those areas so much is those are the areas that we tend to not use properly. We don't, we sit a lot more often than we used to than years ago. So that's the reason there's a, a high level of involvement with dynamic stretches that have those particular muscles being worked. So understand that when we're going into this, there's, there's a lot of stuff that can be done. Um, these are just ones that I think are the most effective for helping the body to move more efficiently. Um, Danny's gonna lay back for me. She's gonna be doing a forward facing scorpion. In a second, I'll show you the, uh, the reverse scorpion. She's gonna take and keeping the leg as straight as possible, she's gonna reach her right foot up and over to her left hand. You may find that this is a little tough to do. You might not have a great range of motion, but continue working on it. And over time, you'll start to see that foot get closer and closer to the hand. Very good. Don't try to force the movement. Just try to let it go as far as it will. Don't be real aggressive and push it. You'll become a little bit jerky with the motion. You wanna be nice and fluid and smooth so that way you don't stress the, uh, the muscles and the hips and the back. All right, I'm gonna show the Floor lying version where I'm face down. This one gets a little bit crazy, but it's really good for opening up the hips. And it's also good for putting a little bit of pressure in the low spine. So that way that when you get a load on top of it in your workouts, it'll be a little bit more prepared to deal with the stress that comes from that resistance. You're gonna start off face down. I'm gonna take that right leg and I'm gonna reach for that hand. And then I'm gonna bring it back. I'll pivot onto my toes so that I can get a little bit more of a push and reach, such a good exercise. Again, a little crazy looking, but very, very effective for opening up the hips. I'm trying to keep my chest in contact with the ground throughout the movement, not letting it come up, kind of keeping it forced down. There you go. Before you get active, try incorporating some of these dynamic stretches and improve your health today. I'm Danny the Dietitian. Till next time, live deliciously. giggling when it starts. Uh. <laughs> Stretching increases blood flow, decreases risk for injury, and the <laughs> uh, and prepares your body for the X and prepares yes. your body for physical activity. Okay. All those things. Yeah, all, all the good things. Three. We're done. <laughs>